Hey! Yay! Stop! 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 Sit down. Sit down. Put the microphone stand down. I ain't got me looking small out here. Don't nobody know the truth. What's going on? How's everybody doing good? Everybody good? I like that. They good moves. I like that. Y'all look good. If you're not good, you look good. A lot of shit is going on in my life right now. Just had another baby. I got two babies now. Just had a son. Not too long ago. Yeah. They both mine. I can't say shit about it either. They both mine. Two kids, two car seats. That's depressing right there. You ever try to talk to a girl with car seats in your car? It won't happen. It's depressing, man. Come here, baby. Let me talk to you for a second. Uh-uh. What's that in the back? Bitch, look at me. Don't focus on the negative. Just look at the positive now. I'm trying to talk to you about some serious stuff now. Kids, man. Kids change your life. Make you realize that things are different. I know I'm getting older now because of my kids. I'm starting to fuss a lot. The older you get, that's what you do. You just wake up angry. I don't know what the hell I be mad at. <laughs> you just wake up mad. When you got more than one kid, you just wake up angry. Hey! Who got the uh, thing with the shit in the... T all right, now. Where the... All right, hey. Heads and beds, right now. I don't even know what that means. Heads and beds. That's my shit. <laughs> my son, I just yell at my son, because he's nine months. You know, he's a man, though. So I yell at him just because. <laughs> I get mad. Hold your head still, boy. <laughs> all day. <laughs> Shit, so damn embarrassing. That shit pissed me off, man. You know how stupid that make you look when company come over and your baby just... <laughs> What's wrong with your baby? I don't know. That Put him on the stomach. He still be trying. <laughs> it's my damn kid, though. I didn't know that you can get mad at kids to the point where you want to fight. <laughs> like, you can want to fight a kid, man. Kids are assholes. Like, my daughter is an asshole. <laughs> She is. Like, we argue. Me and my daughter honestly argue. She can't even talk. Like, she know a couple words, right? She can put a couple sentences together. But it's like every time I tell her something, she always got something to say back. It don't matter what I say, she always got to give me something back. And it makes me mad. We got into an argument over juice the other day. She came into the room. She was like, Daddy, juice. I said, no. You had enough juice. Go get some water. And she looked at me. She was like, doing 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 juice. And I looked at her, I, who the fuck you think you talking to? <laughs> Sit your little ass down and get the goddamn... I was so mad. I was mad because I knew she knew what she was trying to say. She just didn't know how to say it, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, in her mind, she was like, you black midget bitch. Get the, get the juice, punk ass daddy. I knew that's what she was saying. I could tell by her hand movement. She, Doing a guy, all this guy, mm, mm. She's like, you black midget bitch, get the... I was so mad. I wanted to punch her right in the throat. It's my damn baby, though. It's my daughter, man. I'm so protective of my kids, though. I really am. I don't even like taking my kids out that much no more. I get into arguments with the other kids. I, don't, I think kids play too rough. I do. Me and this boy got into it at Chuck E. Cheese. It wasn't, it wasn't a fight, it was an altercation. We got into a little altercation because... My baby was in the balls. He was throwing the balls at my daughter's head. He throwing the balls, hit my daughter right in the head. Bow. My daughter's so damn stupid, she thought it was a game. She playing. <laughs> she like, Daddy, look. <laughs> so I'm getting mad. I'm like, throw a ball back. I'm pissed off. I look at my son. He's just looking at the shit. He... <laughs> I was mad at the way my family looked as a unit. Like, we didn't... We didn't look good as a unit, man. Like, my daughter, she taking balls to the face. My son shaking his head and slobbering. I'm small. We look like a fucking circus act. I was so pissed off. I got, I've never been so mad at my wife in my life. I was like, why would you dress us in different colors? We look like clowns. From now on, solid colors when we glow out. We look like a team, solid colors. My damn kids, though, man. You gotta accept your, accept what you had. <laughs> accept the life that you chose. I don't mind the pressure that comes with kids, though. I can take that pressure. I don't like the pressure that women put on men. I think women put way too much pressure on men. They do. Y'all don't even realize how much pressure you put on men. Is that your lady right there, man? All right, how long y'all been together? All right, so you know what I mean when I say pressure. 
Like she expects a lot from you. She wants you to, to provide for her and protect her. Whether you realize it or not, she do. Like right now, if a fire break out, right now, big ass fire, poof, go up in flames. First thing she gonna do is look at you. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> and you gotta come up with a plan in her mind, you know? Baby, get on my back. I'm gonna bust this out of here. She wanna, <laughs> she wanna hear something stupid like that. Bitch, you better stop, drop, and roll and find that exit. <laughs> I'm scared too, but that's what women want. Women like that security. I'm a great provider, I got money, I can pay for stuff, I don't mind that. I'm not a protector. That's where, that's where I'm like, not that guy. You know what I mean? Like, women, you want every guy to fight for you. That's not me, I'm not a fighter. I won't say that I am, I will never pretend to be. That's not who I am. Prime example, let's say me and you go to the movies, right? We're at the movies, we're having a good time. I don't know where some guy come up, smack you in the face real hard. <laughs> if you with me, then you just got smacked. That's something that just, I'm being honest, all right? I'm not, I'm not gonna do nothing about it. Now, we can talk about it when we get in the car. Let's, <laughs> let's figure out why it happened and, and see what we can do to prevent it from happening again. But as far as me like just going and doing something about it, I'm not gonna fucking do it. Because if he didn't care about your face, I know he don't give a fuck about mine. That's, that's common sense. Two, two black guys ain't gonna get us home. Somebody got the drive. That's what I'm good at. I'm a witness. I saw everything. When, when he hits you, I got behind the vending machine because I didn't want him to know that we were together. It's none of his business who I'm with. I can't believe he kicked you when you fell. That's, that's where I got upset because you gave up. You didn't want to fight no more. Why would he put his boot to your face? That's just disgusting to me. He should be shot. I've seen too many people get knocked out. That's why I don't like to fight, man. You ever see somebody get knocked out, man? Like, knocked out. I'm talking about in person, like you, you witness somebody get knocked the hell out. It changes your opinion on fighting, doesn't it? When you see somebody get knocked out, you don't want to fight no more. Like, damn, that shit look like it hurt. I don't, I don't know if I want to. I saw somebody get knocked out. Me and my boy, we had a club, right? We having a good time. We partying. Mm, mm, get money. Mm, mm, get money. We having a good time, right? Out of nowhere, <laughs> that's how we party, because we both small. We don't, I don't hang with tall people. It was just us, mm, <laughs> right? So. Out of nowhere, he gets into an argument with this guy at the bar. The guy at the bar got mad, punched my boy in the face. Bow! As soon as he hit him, my friend fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> when he woke up, he got mad at me. He was like, Kev, how come you ain't get him? And I was like, you know what? That's some selfish shit. Because I just saw what he was capable of. You know what I mean? Like, he, he made you go to sleep. I'm not tired. I'm wide awake. I took a nap. Why would I walk right into that ass whooping? That's stupid. If, if he hit me and I go to sleep, who gonna wake who up? You understand what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want that problem. Anybody trying to fall asleep at the bar? That's how you get raped. Everybody knows the percentages of rapes happen when people fall asleep at the bar. I promise you. I'm just telling you all the stuff that I know. I saw my uncle get knocked out one time. That might have been the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Because we was at a family reunion. First of all, it's a family reunion. It's a picnic. It's a kid and shit around. It's a time for fun. My uncle got drunk, he get into an argument with this guy over picnic space. He's like, hey man, you and your kids, y'all not no hearts, y'all need to get the hell out of this picnic space. And the guy was, you know, the guy was like, look, dude, I don't mind moving, but don't curse me in front of my kids. So my uncle was drunk, he went to curse again, but before he got it out, the guy hit him. You ever see somebody get hit so hard, they try to grab everything on the way down? <laughs> it happened so fast. He was like, my uncle was like, let me tell you something, fuck you! <laughs> The shit that made me laugh is that he was looking at him the whole way down. <laughs> I like, just go down, fall, shit, man. Messing up the picnic, change came out of his pocket. I ain't never seen somebody get hit so hard that change come out their jeans when they standing up. You know how hard a nigga gotta hit you for loose change to come out your jeans? Soon as he got hit, 35 cent flew out of his pocket. He was like, damn, huh? I said, God damn. He just knocked 35 cents out of Uncle Richard Jr. pocket. <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody get hit that hard. <laughs> These are things that I've seen. I've witnessed this, man. You got to know who you are as an individual. If you're not a fighter, understand that you're not a fighter. I know I'm not a fighter. That's why I carry a whistle. I'll blow the shit out of a whistle in somebody's face. <laughs> Fuck with me if you want to. You're going to win the fight, but you ain't going to hear shit tomorrow, bitch. Put that whistle in your face, bitch. It's kind of hard to fight a whistle. You gotta know what you're good at, what you're not good at. I'm a good arguer. I can argue. But I also, you also gotta know how to get out of things when you argue. 
Have you ever argued with somebody and then they get up and then your mind, you know, you, you feel a little different about the fight? You got to know how to get out of it. You don't have to fight when you don't think you're going to win. There's certain things you can do to let a person know that you're not ready to fight. I was arguing with this guy. We at a club. He's sitting down. I'm like, dude, I said, you know what? Say something else to me. I promise you, I'm going to smack the shit at you. And I mean that. Say something else. I'm going to smack the shit at you. Like, that's my thug look right there. You know, you know thugs get to the clapping their hands and stand up. Say something else. On, on everything I love, I'm going to smack the shit at you, B. For real. And he got up. And he was bigger than I thought he was. And I was like, come on. Give me a hug. Bring it in. I'm serious. This is stupid. Come on, man. There's no reason for us to act. It's, you can't fight nobody doing this. Come on, man. There's ways to let people know that you don't want to fight. I got one fight move. If you get past that, I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I'm going to let y'all see some classified shit right now. This is classified, OK? This is my fight move. What? Who are you talking to? What? Don't make me laugh. This is serious. All right? Oh, this is serious right now. I'm about to show y'all my fight move, all right? What? Who are you talking to? Do you don't know me? Don't, don't talk like you know me. Bitch, say something else. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's real quick. That's classified, all right? I'll show y'all one more time. You get one more peek at it. I'm gonna give y'all one more chance to see it, all right? It's real quick. What? Who are you talking to? Do you don't even know me? You don't even know. Say, say something else. That's it. That's it. That's all it is. The quick shuffle of the feet. That's all I got. <laughs> if you get past that, I'm done. I don't know what to do. It confuses people. You can either think I'm about to kick you, punch you, happy feet. You don't know what it is. There's <laughs> a lot of different combinations that come across with that move. You got to know what you're good at as an individual, man. I don't know. I'm good at seeing things. I'm good at noticing things. Like, I remember one of my friends got jumped one time, and I was with him. I ran. The reason why I ran is because I saw it coming. Like, you know, like, you know when you see stuff coming, you start to break it down on your own? Wait a minute, oh shit, wait, oh no, this don't look good. They look angry, oh, I took off. I'm gonna tell you what's bad about running on somebody. It's real bad when you run on somebody and they survive the jumping. Like, like, <laughs> like, cause when you see them, you don't know what to say. Like, I didn't know what to say to them. I was like, hey, look who's alive, hey man. How did you make it out of there? Up top. No? Nothing? No. Uh, <laughs> no? Up top? Nothing? Uh, I, saw, I saw somebody get kicked in the face before. That shit was funny. I think if you get kicked in the face, you deserved it. Because that means that you watched the foot come to your face. <laughs> Got to be an asshole to fight somebody using their feet. The person I saw get kicked in the face, the reason why I laughed is because when he got kicked, he looked at us for confirmation. Like he, like, he needed approval on what just happened. He's like, ah, yo, shit, yo! <laughs> like, well, it was him, yeah. It was, better look at his other foot if he kicked you again. He's good. That guy's good. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Would you fight somebody using their feet, man? Like, if we go to fight, I'm gonna tell you, put your hands up. Put your hands up, let's fight. Now, if I go to fight you and you start stretching, <laughs> I mean, you know some shit I don't know. I'm not gonna fight you. I had an incident where a guy started it. Well, he tried. He didn't use it on me, but he was going to attempt to use his feet. I was with my mom, right? Me and my mom, we in the parking lot of Best Buy. I'm looking for a parking space. Now, all the spaces was taken, but it was one truck about to back into this parking spot, but he was taking too long, so I got mad. I stole it. I whipped into the spot real fast. Ah, ah. Like, you know you know when you're wrong because you put your head down and roll your windows up. You, you don't want to look at him. You start humming. Hum, hum, hum. <laughs> Out of nowhere, the guy got out of the truck. He was like, yo, man, I know you saw me about to back into that spot. If you back out, we're going to have a problem. Chinese guy, right? Now, with my mom, so I ain't going to be no bitch. I was like, well, I guess we got a problem. This is how I know I didn't want this problem. This is exactly what he did to me. He said, like, oh, so we got a problem? Hmm? Do we? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Get, get in the car. Get in the car, mom. Anybody that smacked their knees twice is an assassin. He about to kick your goddamn temple off your face. That's what he about to do. My mom trying, why are we getting the goddamn car? We kill us, mom. <laughs> Gotta know who to fight and who not to fight, man. I would love to be a thug. I swear I wish I could be a thug. I don't have it in me. 
Like, I don't have those thug qualities in me. I was actually talking to this thug dude. I was in D.C. not too long ago, right? And I talked to this guy. We might have talked for about 15 minutes. I swear to you, I don't know what we were talking about. But he was so passionate about the stuff that he was saying. That's the only reason why I stayed there to listen. It's exactly what he said. It's not even a joke. This is exactly how he was talking to me. He's like, you know what I mean? I'm talking to the dude, right, man? And we talking. He's talking about whoop, 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 whoop. Right? Right? So I'm like, ah, right? You know what I mean? They come at me, I'm like, ah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They get that, you know what I'm saying? Flip that, press that, ah, 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 ah. Everybody get money, ah, ah, burger. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking shit, you know what I mean? Talking dip, blow, I dip, nigga, you know what I mean? Come at me, ah, right? Right? They talking about it, you know what I'm saying? He came back, I'm like, ah, rah, rah. I looked up, he was dead. I said, whoa, what? Wait, wait a second. Back up, back who, Well, who killed him? Whoop, whoop, what? I was so confused, I thought I was a witness. I said, did I see this? Was I there? I, I don't want to be a part of it, is what I'm saying. I must have been so afraid in my life, man. I just don't do good with thug stuff, thug activity. I had one thug dude tell me he was going to pop the trunk on me one time. He's like, say something else, I'm going to pop the trunk on your bitch ass. Everybody ran. I was like, well, where'd you park? <laughs> and looked at me like I was crazy. Man, get out of there. I just want to know how far it was. I, could, I might not have to run. We could catch the train and still get home. I wish I could be a rapper or some shit. I really do. You know why I can't be a rapper, though, man? Because my voice ain't deep enough. To be a rapper, you need a deep voice. That's the only way people are going to want to listen to you on a regular basis. I don't think nobody would buy my album because my voice is too small. Yeah, bitch, I'm a killer. I shoot you in your face. Pshirm, pshirm, everybody gonna die. Pshirm, pshirm, everybody gonna die tonight. <laughs> Did he just say pshirm, pshirm? I he... I'm not buying that shit if he said pshirm, pshirm. Ain't no way I am. Certain shit just keeps you from being tough. You wanna know what's really keeping me from being tough? Look at this. This is really holding me back. Look at this shit here. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. This is really fucking me up, man. Cause ain't nothing tough about this. It don't matter what you say. Ain't nobody gonna take you serious if you swing your feet. It don't matter. I will kill everybody in this bitch tonight. I ain't fucking playing with y'all. Y'all think it's a game? No, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the way people treat me around here. Would you talk to a guy who swung his feet? If you at a club and I try to talk to you, come in, baby, let me holler at you for a second. You, girl, you know damn well who I'm talking to. Just wait a second. Let me climb down and get my feet together. Wait a minute now. <laughs> rappers make me laugh, though. I swear rappers are funny, man. You ever see rappers freestyle? Like when they be battling each other? You ever notice the more angry a rapper get, the higher his hands get? You ever notice that? <laughs> like, like, they start off so calm. Like, I'm, <laughs> this is rappers when they freestyle. You're like, the dude, just the dude when he be listening to the other guy. You ready? No, I got him. I got him, B. <laughs> Wait, this is really how they be. Look. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> Wait, look. <laughs> hey. <laughs> is that a rapper? I'm really trying to be a rapper right now. Like, this, this, this is the real angry rapper. Real talk. I kill niggas. I slay niggas that don't love it. Nigga, you want to beat me to get it? I get it back. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I have to do me so confused. Oh, shit, this nigga's crazy. He's about to... <laughs> he be trying to follow his hands. This nigga's crazy. He's about to kill me. He's going to cut me or something. I can't be that guy, man. I want to be. There's so much stuff that I wanted to do that I'm realizing now that I can't do. Like, I, I wanted to be a singer. I wanted to be an R&B singer for a long time. But I can't sing, but I can dance my ass off. If anybody in here is trying to be a singer, I'm about to tell you what you need to know to make it, all right? There's some more classified stuff. All you need to know how to do is open your hands, close them, and point. That's it. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, y'all like, what? But I'm telling y'all, it look good. Watch this. I'm not going to sing nothing, but tell me this don't look like I'm about to say some stuff. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah.
You're like, oh, shit. He gonna say something! <laughs> what he gonna say, girl? That or the slide out. You know what the slide out is? You ever see an old group and the old group being a thing? Like the Temptations or somebody, you never know who the lead singer is, so they slide out. They be like this, they slide out and start singing on you. That's the best shit ever, because they, they be talking shit. They be like, these bitches don't even know what's about to hit them. I'm about to slide out on a... Nah, this, he's good, this guy's good, he's good. I was working out and everything. I was serious about my singing career. I had to stop working out. Some naked guy tried to talk to me in the gym. I ain't like that. He was ass naked, trying to have a conversation with me while I was at my locker. I'm getting my stuff out of my locker. He came up to me, he's like, hey man, so how long you been a member? And I was like, why is your dick hard? What, what kind of gym is this? What's about to happen, man? I got a little butt, that's the first thing I think about. I didn't have my whistle. If I had my whistle, I would've felt better. I didn't want to ask for a hug, because he was hard. I don't want that shit poking me in the belly button. That's kind of like intercourse, a little bit. I didn't want to feel that. I might have been gay. You put it in my belly button, I'm gay. <laughs> you gay? Yeah, you put it in my belly button. That's gotta be gay. <laughs> serious. I'm just telling you all the stuff that I know. These are things that I've been through, man. I really was serious about working out. You honestly want to know why I stopped going to the gym, though? I saw one of them real strong guys. You ever see them real big dudes? Real huge. You know I'm saying no neck, just being in the gym working out. I saw him one day and I just got mad. I was like, dude, why are you still here? That's it. You won. You, you got them all. What are you like? Why are you still here? Like, y'all don't understand how mad that made me when you that big for no reason. <laughs> like, if you're gonna get that big, it's gotta be a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I ask you why you working out, you should tell me. I'm training for the Olympics. I'm about to enter the strongman competition. Something. It's gotta be a fucking reason. But when you that big and you work for T-Mobile when you answer the phones, <laughs> you, you strong as shit. You can't even handle the headset. They, they, they even call, hello? Hello? They even call, hello? They even, <laughs> you just start moving shit around the office because you start. Hey, you go to Bobo. Sit your strong, unproductive ass down, man. Strong shit with a headset. They done went to 37 headsets this month. Because <laughs> your hand's too fucking strong for. Uh, God. Boss, another one. <laughs> it's five today, boss. Take them on my check. I don't know how to use the equipment either. I don't know how to use none of the equipment, man. Because the equipment getting too serious now. Like, there was a time when it was regular, you knew what it was, it set the instruction down, they got all those universal machines and stuff. I was trying to work my legs the other day. And you know, you know the leg machine that, that goes like this, like you sit on it, you ah, ah, you know what I'm talking about? Well, I get there, and it was reclined down. Like, it was all flat on one level. So I thought it was arms. So I said, okay, I'm going to work my arms. <laughs> My face was burning and everything. I was like, like, I'm doing something right, you know? So I got up, and when I got up, some guy came and sat down right where my face was. <laughs> He's like, hey, man, I tried to tell him. I was like, hey, you're doing that wrong. That's arms. He's like, no, this is legs. And I was like, so that's, that's why my face was burning? Because I've been smelling people's balls all goddamn. I was so pissed off because I did three sets. He watched me do three sets. He just, he just stood by the machine. There you go. There you go. That's it. Pull it up, pull it up. <laughs> Smack me on the ass and everything. Come on now. It's your last set. Pull it. I ain't like that. I don't, yeah, I don't like those guys that try to make a scene at the gym either. You ever see the guys just trying to get everybody to look at them before they lift something? Like, I'm on a treadmill, right? I'm walking on a treadmill. For some reason, I can't run. I don't know what it is, so I just walk. I'm like, oh, my Blackberry. I just people watch, right? But it's this guy, he was either going to jail or he just got out. It was one or the other. Like, he was, he was one of those bigs, like the little big, right? <laughs> this, this is the weight bench right here, right? This is the weight bench. He had, like, 345 plates right here. He had 345 plates here. But he didn't want to lift it until he knew everybody in the gym was looking at him. This, <laughs> this is exactly what he was doing. He's like...
I was just looking at, oh, he about to do this shit. He gonna do it. <laughs> he never did it. He just left. He just walked out the show. <laughs> Who does that? Who gets somebody that excited and then don't finish it? I was pissed off. I was, Why would you play with me like that and then not lift it? <laughs> I was really trying to get big, man. I was serious about the gym. You know something else I thought the gym was gonna do for me, though? I thought the gym was gonna help me mentally. I had a lot of mental stuff I was trying to get over. Phobias and stuff. And I said, you know, you get a little bigger, feel better about yourself, you don't worry about the stuff you're afraid of. Got any phobias? Not that you can think of? You ain't scared of nothing, huh? You ever wake up in an alligator in your room or some shit? <laughs> Bet you be scared of that. You wake up ass naked, dick swinging. Hey, baby! <laughs> get a blanket, get a blanket! <laughs> That's a bad feeling right there. I'm afraid of a lot of stuff, man. Everything I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of for a reason, though. I don't want y'all thinking, like, oh, I think it's funny. I just say I'm afraid of some stuff. Like, something's happened to me, and that's why I'm afraid of the stuff that I'm afraid of. Like, I don't, I don't like gorillas. I'm real scared of gorillas. <laughs> I am, because it was daddy day. I was at the zoo. It's me and my babies, you know what I'm saying? I'm by myself. I got my, my son in my arm, my daughter right here. We're looking at the gorillas. And while I'm looking at the gorillas, I'm trying to explain to my daughter what a gorilla is. You know, while I'm talking, the gorilla smacked the glass real hard. <laughs> I'm talking about hard as shit. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm talking to my baby. My baby, that's a silverback gorilla. Okay, they call it the silverback because it's got a silver thing going down his back. While I'm talking, the gorilla's like, smack the shit out the glass. In my mind, he just got loose. I was like, he's out. <laughs> I never got out the zoo so fast in my life. I mean, like, dude, I was haul assing out the zoo. But, like, you know, when you're running and you think somebody's about to catch you and you feel it on your neck, like, I was running, but I felt something. I was like, oh, shit. The gorilla about to grab me because it felt like somebody was doing this. And I was like, I got to do something. I got to get the gorilla off me. I ain't know what to do. I panicked, so I dropped my baby. I was like, ah. <laughs> Made it look like an accident. Ah. <laughs> They're like, you drop your baby. I was like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I had to save myself. I didn't like that. I'm serious. <laughs> very, very serious. That's where I'm at, though, man. I don't, I'm just scared of a lot of shit. I don't like gnats. I'm scared of gnats. <laughs> I am, you know, I'm talking about little ass gnats, right? Because me and my mom, we was in the park, right? I was like nine years old, and I walked into a bushel of them. Like, you ever see gnats when they fly together? It's like a thousand gnats in a circle. Well, I walked into that shit, and I panicked. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I stayed there. I got... <laughs> All my mom had to do was grab my hand and pull me out the net. My mom's so damn dramatic, my mom made it worse because she started yelling. She, somebody get my baby out the net. <laughs> the net eat my baby. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> when I heard Jesus, I thought it was real. I thought, ah! <laughs> thought they was eating me. I punched this girl in the face because of a net one time. <laughs> Dead me and this girl was talking. We was having a real intimate conversation. While we was talking, a gnat flew by. Like, I was trying to get rid of the gnat, but she was so close, she caught the worst of it. Like, you know, we were talking. I'm like, yeah, baby, you know, you should come over after. She was like, all right, I don't mind. I said, well, look, I'm parked right here. Just pull around that way you can follow me. Said, yeah, matter of fact, I tell you, I, <laughs> I looked up. She was like, ah! You didn't see that big ass gnat? Nat tried to lay an egg on my face. It was a pregnant gnat. I know a pregnant gnat when I see one. Pregnant gnat tried to kill me. I'm just telling y'all what I know. I've seen it. It's all happened to me, man. I don't like dolphins. I'm scared of dolphins. I am. Me and my wife, we was in Maui, right? We in Maui. She's like, come on, baby. We should go swim with the dolphins. I was like, nah. I told you how I feel about them dolphins. She's like, come on, stop being a bitch. Let's just do it. I was like, don't call me no bitch. She's like, bitch? Man, whatever. Like, you know when you don't got to come back, so you just got to, mm, you stupid. That's all I had. I didn't have nothing else to say. So we go, we go, we get there. They got the dolphins in this tank. It's like eight dolphins in this tank, right? When I get there, I see this old lady on the back of a dolphin. I see this little boy. I'm like, you know what, babe? I might have been overreacting. Get the camera, take some pictures of me on the back of the dolphin. I was hyped, right? I get in the water. I'm on the back of the dolphin. The instructor, he was like, as soon as you grab the dolphin fin, the dolphin's going to start taking you around. So whenever you're ready, grab his fin. I was like, all right, cool. I'm ready. As soon as I grabbed my dolphin fin, my dolphin went straight to the bottom of the tank. Like, he just, he just went down. So, so because I was scared, I didn't let go. I held on. Like, you know when you're scared, how you start to mentally create shit in your own mind? 
I was like, okay, it's obvious that I got a racist dolphin. He don't, he don't like black people. He done, he done cut a deal with a shark, bring him a black piece of meat, something bad about to happen, right? So I let go, I get to the top. When I let go, I'm so scared, I start snapping on the instructor as soon as I see him. I was like, nobody saw fucking dolphin number eight missing? Huh? Huh? Y'all didn't notice I was going for like 30 seconds? He tried to kill me! He tried to kill me! I was mad, yo. I was so fucking scared. I was like, y'all see the old lady and the little boy, but nobody saw the black fucking swirl missing? Huh? Nobody noticed that the black dot wasn't going around? Y'all didn't notice that? He's like, calm down, man. Calm down. It's three feet. Just stand up. I was like, what? What'd he say? I didn't, I didn't even realize that I was walking and talking shit at, at the same time. Come to find out, I never even went underwater. What happened was, some water splashed in my face. <laughs> and I panicked. Ah! 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 I made it up. I made it all up. I was scared. I never lied that fast in my life. He was racist, though. I know he was racist. You know I know he was racist? Because when I got out the water, you know how dogs like, kick it, kick it. They be doing that, like, kick it, kick it. Well, he looked at me. He's like, nigga, nigga, nigga. And I was like, what? Blew my whistle in his face. I don't play that shit. He don't work there. I got him fired. <laughs> no people. What else don't I like? I don't like ostriches. I'm scared of ostriches. For those people who don't know what an ostrich is, it's a big ass bird that's the same size as me. These birds are huge, okay? I'm in Nebraska, I'm doing a show in Nebraska. I had to pee, so I'm on the side of the road, I'm peeing, right? I get done peeing, I look to my left, it's a big ass ostrich looking at me while I'm peeing. He was standing on one leg like this. His body was facing this way, but his head, his head was like this. <laughs> now, I didn't know what it was, so I didn't say anything. My friend got out of the car, he's like, yo, what's that? I was like, I don't know. It's like a big ass man pigeon. I don't know. I don't know what it is, right? He's like, there ain't no man pigeon. I was like, it is a man pigeon. He took a pen, he threw an ink pen at it, right? As soon as he threw the pen at it, hit the ostrich in the chest. As soon as he hit the ostrich, his other leg came down. His body was still facing this way, but his head, his head was still like this. Now, when, it, when his leg came down, this is when the bitch started to come out of me a little bit. I was like, you know what? We should, um, we should, we should probably go get back in the car because, because we don't really know what that means. You know what I mean? Like that, that, that could be a sign. That could mean like you got 10 seconds to get the fuck out my face before I kill you. I'm gonna eat your kids. We don't, we don't know what he's trying to say. So let's just get back in the car where we safe at. So we get in the car. As soon as we get in the car, I start laughing. I'm like, ah, <laughs> you a bitch, man. Like, no, you a bitch. I'm like, no, you a bitch. I'm laughing. I'm driving like 30 miles per hour. I look out the passenger window. The ostrich was running 30 miles per hour beside the car. His body was still facing this way, but his head was still like this. And he was hard assy at 30 miles per hour. Now, when I'm scared, like if I'm real, real scared, I get emotional. I'll, I'll start to cry if I'm real, real scared. So I got a little emotional. You know, I looked at my friend. I was like, why would you, why would you throw a pin at it if, 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 if we, if we don't even know what it is? No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, I'm saying we don't even know what it is. He's <laughs> like, dude, stop bitching, speed up, speed up. I lied to y'all not, I started driving like 60 miles per hour. When I tell y'all that this ostrich was running 60 miles per hour, I'm not bullshitting. His body was still facing this way, but his head was still like this. He was running so you couldn't even see his legs. He was going so fucking fast. He was, he was just moving. And the reason why I was so scared is because he never looked in front of him. Like, he didn't care about a wall, another ostrich. He was just looking at us, but the way he was looking at us is like he was saying, when I catch y'all, I'ma fuck both y'all up over a pen, over a goddamn pen. And I was like, why don't you just apologize? You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I didn't throw the pen. I was scared. That's the only time I ever shitted on myself in my life. I've never shitted on myself, but I let go that time. I let loose. I really did. Cause I had, I had to go. I really did. No, I shitted on myself before. This guy tried to stick me up. This guy came at me with a gun. He's like, give me your money, bitch. All of it. Run it. I was like, come on, man. I, I, uh. He's like, what's that smell? I was like, I shit it. He's like, get your ass out of here. Everybody, 
smell that while they taking your money, man. I was, I was honest. That's what it's about. I think that's probably why women don't respect me because I'm so honest. I'm serious. My wife don't respect me. I know she don't. You feel like your lady respects you, man? You have a fight? No? Never felt, felt like this fight, like a good one. Never? <laughs> You've never tried to hit him, ever? No? <laughs> you tried to hit him? I'm gonna tell you something, man. I'm being honest with you. I promote domestic violence. I think, I think if you're in a... No, I know it sounds crazy. I'm telling y'all some real stuff. I think if you're in a relationship and your woman has never tried to hit you, she don't love you. Any woman that love you is gonna try to hurt you at some point in time when you make her mad. That's how you know when you got a good woman. I don't mind that. I don't like hypocrites. I don't like women that are hypocrites. Like, any female that like dare a man to hit her for three hours and didn't act surprised when he do it. I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. You ever see that? You ever see a woman talk all that shit and then act like she don't know where the consequences came from? Yeah, yeah, let me tell you something. I wish you would put your hands on me. No, 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 no. I wish you would. No, no, see, let me tell you something. See, you think I'm one of these regular bitches that won't fight you back. That's the thing. Let me tell you something. I promise you, boo-boo. <laughs> you hey, you ever have a girl slow down on you like that? But let me tell you something. I promise you, boo-boo, it's not gonna go down the way you think it. No, don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch and walk away. Come back, put your hands on me. Watch what I do. Look at this. <laughs> You're not crazy, you just tired of you talking shit for three hours. That's all that is. <laughs> Women, y'all know how to push them buttons, man. Y'all talented. Women, y'all got a different level. Like, y'all push, push men to a different level of anger. Like, you ever get so mad when you argue with a girl that you can't find the words, so you gotta make a noise? <laughs> you, you, the word is right there, but you can't get it out. You, bitch, first of all, I'm trying to do, I got all the uh, stuff in it. Woo, shit! <laughs> Girl. You don't know where that noise came from. You never made that noise ever in life. They make you get to those points. You ever outline a girl? You know what that is? So you put your hands around your lady's face. You don't want to hit her. You just want to show her what you could do. It's a scare tactic. It's real fast. It's, bitch, say something else. I swear to God, I'm... That's all it is. It's real quick. Say another. Swear to God, I'm... <laughs> your threats don't even make sense. I put your stomach in your... Face and make you eat yourself. What? What'd you say? Stomach in your face, make you eat yourself. Every woman knows how to push a man's buttons. That's what y'all good at. You know how to make your man mad. You know how to piss him off. You know what to say to make him mad. He can argue with any other woman in here. He's not gonna care what they got to say. He's like, ah, shut up, beat it, get out my face. You know how to get a reaction. Fuck you, Terrence. Fuck you and your third ball. What? <laughs> My third, don't talk about my third ball. The doctor said it's a possible medical condition. It could be cancer. <laughs> he don't like that. <laughs> you know how to get those reactions out of him. Like, you know what my wife do to make me mad? I don't like it when she sing when she get mad. I can't stand that. I can't stand that. When women get so emotional, they start singing when they get mad. You ain't going to do shit, nigga. You ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna do it. You ain't gonna do shit. You just gotta, you just gotta sit there with the you ain't gonna do shit face. That's the, that's the face to say you ain't got nothing left. That's what women do. Women, you play mind games. Stop forgiving men for stuff, and after you forgive them, then forgetting that you forgave them, and talk about the shit that you already forgave them for, and getting mad about it. Stop doing that. If you forgave them, forgive them. It's not the worst of being a man that messed up in the past, and you trying to correct yourself, but your woman keep bringing the past up. So now every time you tell the truth, it sounds like you're lying, and when you're lying, it sounds like you're telling the truth. I'm saying, is that the point in my relationship where I'm afraid for my wife to hear me have fun? I be trying to shut fun down. Like, when she not around and she call me, I get mad at my friend. Shut the fuck up. Everybody, shut up. Look, put your seatbelt on. Buckle up. Every put your seatbelt on. I don't know where she is. Look safe. <laughs> we straight ahead until we figure this out. She's crazy. That's what women do. I'm telling you how you can tell a battered man. You know how you can tell a man that's been through so much emotionally? 
when you speak to him. Whenever you speak to a man and he start talking about his relationship without you asking anything about it, that's a battered man. <laughs> as soon as you meet him, hey, how you doing? My wife and I go camping every week. What? <laughs> she likes Cheerios too. What are you? <laughs> He's battered. He thinks that you're one of her friends and she sent you to come talk to him. He thinks it's a setup. <laughs> He's so crazy, he thinks you're five steps ahead of you because he don't know what's what. I'm just being honest with y'all. I'm telling y'all things that really go on. Tell you something else, fellas. Know when to fight your woman and when not to fight your woman. Okay, whenever you're in a car, don't fight your woman. Not while you're driving. Reason why? Because your face is open. Okay? <laughs> you don't have any defense. I'm telling you guys from... I'm telling you guys from, from, from my past, I'm telling you about things I went through, okay? You don't want to do it. This is when I first found out my lady was crazy. We was on a highway and she hit me. First of all, anybody that hits you when you're on the expressway of any kind don't care about their life. Let's, let's get that out, okay? We on the highway, we coming from an event. You know, my kid's in the back seat and we arguing. I'm like, you know what your problem is? You don't respect me as a man. Okay? Till you respect me as a man, we're gonna always have problems. That's why we fight so much. Hey, I'm, honestly, I'm thinking about putting my hands on you. Keep on, and I'm, I'm gonna show you what that feel like, cause you're stupid, and you act. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I've never been so afraid for my life, dude. <laughs> she tried to kill me. <laughs> I looked in the back, my daughter was like, do me, go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> then turn my baby against me and everything. You gotta know. You gotta know your woman. Fellas, don't be afraid to be a man, fellas. I don't care what you're going through in your relationship. Don't be afraid to be a man. Stop being yes men. No woman wants a yes man. Don't think that's gonna make your, your relationship better because you agree with your woman all the time. It's not gonna make your relationship better. It makes you look stupid. You're just saying yes all the goddamn time. <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What, do you, what do you need? Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah. No, no, I, yeah, I go now. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. What do you need? Yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm there now. I'll pick it up. Yeah. What? Now I just left. You want me to go back? Yeah, I'll go back. <laughs> Fag. Fucking get some balls. Be a man. Argue. That's what you're in a relationship for. You're in your relationship to argue. That's what men are there for. We argue. Even when you're wrong, argue. I've been caught red-handed several times. Argue. You want to know how you win every single argument? Be loud. That's all you got to do. Women can't handle that. Women can't handle when a man's voice gets past a certain level. They break down. They don't know what to do. I've been caught. Just mean what you say. And after you say it, walk out. You can't stick around. You got to... You got to... <laughs> If you stick around, you give them a chance to come back and confuse you. Say your point, get the fuck out the room. Go. <laughs> Kevin, I saw you. I saw you, Kevin. I saw the bitch in your car. You gonna tell me I didn't see you? I saw the bitch in your car. Man, shut up. Shut the fuck up, man. Every time I come in the house, you got the microwave on high. Fuck you. Walk out. Bam. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. You can't give her a chance. <laughs> She just gonna be standing there like, what? I, <laughs> I, thought, I thought he liked it when I used the microwave. I don't, I, don't know, I don't understand him or what he wants from me anymore. I don't understand. <laughs> I remember one time we got into an argument over a giraffe. <laughs> Swear to God, we were talking about money. You know, she was mad at me. She was like, you're spending too much money. I'm tired of you going out to these clubs, spending all this money on all your little girls. That money need to be spent on your family. I was like, shut up. I'm telling you what to do with my money. It's my money. If I want to go buy a giraffe, I'll go buy a damn giraffe, OK? I was trying to be a smart ass. I'm being a smart ass. I'm thinking it's over. Out of nowhere, she was like, you ain't going to buy no giraffe in this house. That's, <laughs> that's when I lost it. Uh, I bet I do buy a damn giraffe in this house. Tell me I won't buy no damn giraffe. I go on www.getagiraffe.com right now and have that giraffe here tomorrow. Teach that giraffe how to head butt the fuck out you. Tell me I won't get no giraffe. I try to get one. You can't get them. It's hard to get a giraffe. It is. I swear I was gonna have that giraffe right outside my house just walking it. <laughs> just, walk, just walking my giraffe. <laughs> You know the move that you can't ever fall for? All I gotta do. You ever hear that shit? All I gotta do is... 
I fell for that shit one time. Because we don't know what you're talking about. All I got to do is crimp my hair. We don't know what the fuck a crimp is. Oh, that's it? <laughs> we just do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Dumbass man. Yeah, cool. All right. You've been in the bathroom five damn days. I thought you had to crimp it. That's what I'm doing. Then they flip it on you. You ever have a woman flip it on you? I thought you said you was going to be quick. Well, I can't do it if you in my face. Let me do it. All right, yeah, all right, cool. All right. Let's go out let you crimp it. Sorry. I'm just telling you what I know. This is from experience. But women, at the same time, you got to understand your man. You got to know when to leave your man alone. Men give signs just like women give signs. If your husband or your boyfriend drives a minivan, leave him alone. <laughs> Any man that drives a minivan does not care about life. He don't give a fuck. He don't. Every time he slides that long ass door closed, he, he is cursing you the fuck out of his mind. Stupid ass bitch got me driving a goddamn ambulance. Sit down, sit the hell down. Thomas, eat another book off that windshield, I kill you. I hate my life. <laughs> I'll tell you the real sign. Like, if your man wears sweatpants with no pockets, that's a sign. <laughs> Any man that doesn't have pockets don't care about life. You ever go a day without pockets? <laughs> Think about how important your pockets are. That means you don't care about change, receipts, your wallet. You don't care. You don't believe me? Try to get a man that don't have pockets to wear pockets. Watch how mad he get. I tried to get my dad to wear pockets one time. We was going to church. I was like, Dad, come on, man, we're going to church. Put some pants with pockets on. He's like, what the fuck I need pockets for? She took everything. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dad, you can use my pockets. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. He done lost his goddamn mind. He gonna snap on me about pockets. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that fan reunion laugh right there. <laughs> Sound like he's he, like he gargling beer right now. That's how them thug dudes be. You ever see a thug dude? <laughs> when they don't want to laugh, he's like, <laughs> cuz, fuck out of here, dude. Bite trying to let you. This nigga's stupid. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> they just be trying to cover up their laughs real quick. Go ahead, nigga. They might come here and let just put it in. Go ahead. It's not that funny, cuz. It's not that funny. I'm trying to kill you, nigga. Kill you. I talk all this stuff about relationships, but you know what? I like mine the way it is. I do. I like drama. I'm attracted to drama. I think if you're in a relationship, drama's good. I couldn't deal with no happy woman. To deal with her if she was happy all the time. Every time you come home, she got some happy shit to say. Think about it. As soon as you walk in the door, she's just happy. As soon as you come home, oh my God, who's home? You are. You are. Take out, take out, take out, take out. Sit down, sit your stupid ass down. I got fired today. You want to tickle some goddamn body? Sit down, stupid ass. <laughs> Nobody want to deal with that shit. Drama, try to stab me. <laughs> you ever have one pull a knife out on you? <laughs> That's some sexy shit right there. Bitch, put the, hey, I'm not playing now. Put the fucking knife, you think, hey, do it again. Woo! <laughs> you got me. Yeah, that time you really got there. You should go to the hospital. <laughs> you know what it is? I don't, I don't like the whole dating game, though. That's why I accept my situation. I see a bunch of couples here now, like, y'all just dating. I don't like dating. You know why I don't like dating? I try to impress women too much. That's my problem. I went out, brought this big ass truck just to try and impress women. I didn't know that everybody looked tall in the truck, though. Like, you don't notice somebody's small until they get out the truck. I had to find out the hard way because I like to flirt. I'm at the stoplight. I saw these girls. I was like, damn, baby, you look good. Why don't you pull over? Let me talk to you for a second. She was like, all right. He kind of cute. Her and her girlfriend high five. It was happy. She was like, get out. Come talk to me. Now I can't get out my truck, right? I got I to gotta jump out. But <laughs> when I jumped out, I didn't have a good landing. I stumbled a little bit. And all I heard was, oh my God, he doesn't have any knees. And they just, <laughs> they just pulled, they pulled off. I said, hey, there's a bitch, I got knees. It was, it was a bad jump. Because when I landed, I twisted my ankle. My head hit the windshield. I was trying to pull myself up. 
I can admit that it looks a little retarded, but to yell out that I don't have knees is selfish. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How did I get out the truck? I didn't roll out the bitch. That's why I had an attitude. I had one girl that had one of those laughs to make you stop laughing. <laughs> you ever meet somebody like that? With a laugh that's so bad that you gotta stop having a good time? Because it wasn't a laugh, it was like a snicker slash snout. She did that everything, stuff that wasn't even funny. Like we was going to the movies. I'm like, you know what, babe? It's a long line, I'm gonna go park the car. Why don't you go wait in line? She's like, all right, I don't mind. <laughs> and I didn't know what it was at first, so I didn't say nothing. I still had the car on. I was like, the car shouldn't sound like this because it's a new car, you know what I mean? I just got this car. I better not have no damn problems with this car. I was like, hey, look, when you get out of line, go get some popcorn with a lot of butter. She's like, oh my God, I love butter. <laughs> and I was like, okay, that was you that time. I saw you because, you know, I, I made eye contact. And I was like, I don't like that. That is nasty because it sounds like you swallowing snot or something. But then it dawned on me where she got it from because I met her dad earlier that day. Her dad had one of those laughs. I call it the rich white guy laugh. You know what that is? It's a laugh that's followed by an awful joke. The joke doesn't make you laugh, but the laugh eventually makes you laugh. And he found out that I was a comedian. He kept trying to tell me jokes. He's like, oh, so, uh, so you're a comic, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, all right, all right, all right. Listen, I got a, um, I got a joke for you. You can, you can keep it if you want. I don't mind. Um, all right, all right, all right. You ready? All right, okay. <laughs> All right, this is crazy, it's so good. All right, so I'm at, I'm at the office. I'm at the office. I tell this guy, I said to him, what did I, wait, what did I say? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, all right, all right, all right, I got it, I got it, okay. All right, so I'm at the office, right? I'm at the office, and uh, I tell this guy, I said to him, I said, hey, uh, pass me the stapler, but when you pass it, Make sure staples are in it, because if it isn't, I can't staple anything. <laughs> I didn't want to laugh, but he kept looking right at me while he was doing it. Here's a weird thing. You like, you know how people clap when they laugh, like, ah, you know, you know He had a clap that he would do with his laugh, but I never knew when it was coming. I couldn't time it. Like, you know how sometimes you can time a clap? I didn't know when the clap was coming, so it was hard for me to participate and clap with him because it took too long, right? But he was still looking at me the whole time. He was like, Like 57 seconds right there. I can't wait. 57 seconds. It's a long time ago. I had this one tall girl. I didn't even care that she was tall. Like she was tall and shit. She was a model. I didn't even care because she made me laugh. Me make me laugh. That's a bonus. Because it's my job to make people laugh. So you make me laugh. It's a turn on. But one day she tried to mess with me mentally. We in the supermarket, right? I'm going to get some milk. Now normally they put my milk on the middle row in the aisle. <laughs> For some reason, this day, it was on the top row. And like, you you know, you can't read something, how you start stretching for it, like, ah, because I couldn't get it. I was like, ah, ah, ah. She's like, babe, don't stretch yourself. Let me grab it for you. And I turned around. It was a bunch of people in the aisle looking at her about to grab my milk. So I got mad. I punched in the rib. I was like, bitch, don't be trying to play me in front of them people. She's like, I ain't trying to play you. I was like, you are trying to play me. If you want to help me, pick me up and let me grab it. That's how you help. She's like, all right. Cause I'm a thug. I'm a thug first. Are you guys double dating? It's like a double date, right? Kinda. That's good. I would say don't do it no more though. Don't ever double date. You know why you shouldn't double date? Cause you compete with the other couple. You don't even know you compete. I'm telling you, you compete. I'll show you right now. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong, okay? Let's say you lean over, you give your girl a kiss. Real innocent. Mm, love you, babe. First thing she gonna do is look at him. She like, mm, must be nice. Man. Now you're competing. Now, now, the only way you can win is to suck her titty right here. You gotta do it. That's the only way. You gotta pull your titty out right now. That's it. 
But women, y'all discuss personal business, and that personal stuff come out. It come out like when y'all when y'all arguing, y'all all at dinner one night, and you having a good time. Then one day you get mad. You're like, you know what, Michelle? I hate you, Michelle. You come out all the time. You get drunk. You mess up the whole night. You're like, whatever. Fuck you, Tariq. At least I don't eat ass. You're like, what? What you, what you talking about? I, oh, you don't eat ass? Erica, you don't eat ass. Now, now, <laughs> you got to put her on the spot. You told him I eat ass? Everybody was talking. I didn't know that it would come out like this. Now you gotta sit there with the you ate ass face. You just... <laughs> that's that's the you just ate ass face. <laughs> Conversation been over, but she's still mad. First of all, all the time I ate your ass was on your birthday. Let's get that out the way. No, no, no. You want to talk about it? Let's talk about it, okay? I didn't get your shit. You said eat your ass. I was like, cool, so I ate your ass. Don't make it seem like I'm out here just eating your ass every day. Everybody sitting here pushing my drink to the side like I got the shit mouth. Fuck y'all, man. Bet, I bet it won't be no more ass eating up in here. I bet that. I bet, <laughs> bet that shit last ass eating incident. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing funny to people's personal problems coming out in front of other people. That's the funniest thing ever to me, when people's personal problems get brought to light in front of other people. Because you always got to act like you ain't hear it. <laughs> like you ever hear another couple argue like you hear some weird shit? You never heard like some weird shit? Whatever, bitch, you the one with the dildos all up there in the house. <laughs> You be at the dinner table like... <laughs> you try to whisper to your lady, she got dildos in the house. <laughs> this bitch is crazy. She got dildos all up in the house. I think that's the funniest stuff in the world, man. Other people's problems. There's nothing funnier than other people's problems. Other people's kids. I remember me and my boy got into it one day because I told him I didn't think his baby was where she was supposed to be mentally. That's what I told him. <laughs> I did, I told him that. So I think you might have a dumb baby. It's a chance <laughs> that your baby might be dumb. You know, but I felt like me as your friend, I should be able to tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm your friend, so my constructive criticism should be good criticism to you. But he got mad. He's like, whatever, my baby's smarter than yours. I was like, bet money. He was like, bet. I was like, what you want to do? He was like, let's sit him in the middle of the floor and see which baby can hold their head up the longest. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, my baby got a problem, right? But I can't back down. I was like, bet, bitch. So we, we put our babies in the middle of the floor, and they was going at it. My, <laughs> my son was like, <laughs> and his baby was looking at my son, so his baby got dizzy and fell. I was like, look at that dumbass baby. I didn't kick his baby. I just moved his baby away from my baby. I didn't want that dumb stuff to wear off. I want to tell y'all a funny story before I get ready to go. I'm, uh, I'm about to do a show uh, where I'm doing everything that they say black people are afraid to do. Like I'm bungee jumping, skiing, skydiving, eating dinner with my family with the TV off. Every, everything that they say <laughs> that we as black people don't do, I'm about to do. But before they gave me money to do the show, they was like, Kev, we got to know that you're going to do it for sure. We don't want to give you money to do it. And then it come time to do it, you don't do it. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'll tell you what, I'll take my own money, I'll do it with my own money. They was like, all right, cool, fine, let's do it that way. So me, my wife, my boy Naeem, my friend Nate, we all in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm about to do a theater, Chattanooga, Tennessee. I was like, you know what? We're gonna go whitewater rafting. I was like, but listen, can't nobody act. We all gotta be ourselves. I'm a filmer. They said, all right, cool, it's gonna be all that. Now we like the only black people in Chattanooga, Tennessee at the time. There weren't no other black people there. But before you go whitewater raft, you gotta drive a car. The car takes you to the bus. When you get to the bus, that's how you get down to the river. We were late getting to the bus. So all the seats on the bus are taken, except the seats in the back. Now, I'm a comedian. I'm silly. So I start walking. I was like, damn, y'all still racist. Y'all ain't expect no black people to show up. Ha ha, he he. I'm joking. We sit down in the back of the bus. Out of nowhere, the bus driver got up. He's like, you guys in the back, don't try to jump out that back door because there's park rangers out there and they will fire. I was like, uh, where the fuck did that come from? Like, we, like we with y'all, right? This is a group thing, right? So, so, Naeem, that's my boy, he like, yo, stop bitching, man. We trying to do this for you. We trying to make you money. I'm like, all right, whatever, I ain't gonna say nothing. We get off the bus, and we get off the bus, your instructor waiting on you, this guy named Lance. 
He had one arm in the air. He's like, hearts, where the hearts at? I'm like, we the hearts. He's like, come on, you guys will be getting in the water with me. I get over there to him. This arm was in a cast. From here to here, all the shit was wrapped up, and he had the thing holding it up. So he's like, come on, you guys, y'all going to be getting in the water with me. So, you know, I looked at him. I was like, I'm, I'm probably not going to go if you're going to keep that on. He's like, no, trust me, you're good. This happened doing something else. You're fine. I was like, all right, well, you know, let me, let me talk to my family real quick. So I got over there to them. I was like, hey, look, y'all, before we go do this, I just want to tell y'all, fuck this, I'm not going to do it. And he was like, what? I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't really feel that comfortable, you know, doing it. He got a cast on. So now Amy's like, yo, stop being a bitch, man. We're doing this for you. We're trying to make you money. You know what I'm saying? You the one holding up your success. I was like, all right, fine. You're right. I ain't going to say shit else. I hope we die together. I'm sarcastic. I'm an asshole. So we get there. This old lady was giving, like, the orientations, right? Basically, she was briefing us on what we should know when we're in the water. But she was an asshole. Like, she was such a jerk, man. Like, she had no patience at all. This is honestly how she was talking to us. She's like, everybody, gather around, please. Today, you're not the only group. Today, um, listen up. Only gonna say it once, okay? First of all, if you fall out, people, don't stand up. Our Pete, don't stand up, because your face can get caused by something we call a face flood, you'll die. Your foot can get underneath the water, rocks go on it, cause your face to go forward, water goes over, you're dead. We had it happen, all right? Um, also, listen up, listen, listen. You fall out your wrath, people, you must be a part of your own rescue, meaning you must help us help you, all right? If you don't want to help us help you, you can help yourself. That's your choice. We've been paid, okay? That's all <laughs> up to you at this time. Um, I got it, said it, didn't say it. Oh, here it is. Last but not least, we got a lifeline. Lifeline looks like this. Lifeline's seven feet long. If you fall out the raft, we can throw it to you. If you're at eight feet, I suggest you get to seven. That's the only way <laughs> we can get you back in. Um... With that being said, have a good time. Enjoy yourself. So I turn around, everybody buckling their stuff up. They're putting their helmets on. I was like, hey, y'all, look, you know, before we go do this, I just want to tell y'all, fuck this for real this time, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. I'm not bullshit. She's talking about if I'm at eight feet, I better get to seven. No, 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 bitch, you better get to eight, okay? Like, <laughs> like personal shit started to come out. All my life, they've been telling me I couldn't reach it because I was too small. Now you telling me you can't reach me? I paid for it. I start breaking down, right? Like, <laughs> Now he's like, yo, man, get the stuff together. Let's do it. I was like, fine, you know what, Naeem? Me and you gonna sit up front since you so damn tough. Now, me and Naeem, we get in the front of the raft, right? We're here. My wife is here. My boy Nate is here. Lance is all the way in the back. Now, for those people who don't know what white water rafting is, it's really dangerous. Like, the water's going like 40, 50 miles per hour. You're like a pinball in a pinball machine. Every time you hit a rock, <laughs> ping, you bounce off. Bounce off. <laughs> bounce off. So we're in the water. But we're not doing bad. We're doing good. We're doing pretty damn good. We're going, oh, it's fun. Scary, but it's fun. We hit a rock, bounce off, I turn around, I don't see Naeem no more. I'm like, <laughs> this is one of my closest friends, so now I'm scared. I'm worried, right? Oh, shit, where's Naeem at? I turn around, Naeem's foot is caught on the clamp on the side of the raft, and we're dragging him. Like, <laughs> but he's so scared, he's not blinking. He's just, he's just looking at me like this. So he was like, pull me up, man, pull me up, pull me up. Now, I couldn't pull him up because I was laughing. Like, you ever, you ever get that laugh when you get that cramp? Like, you know what I'm talking about? He's like, pull me up. I can't, man, I got a cramp. He's like, pull me up. I was like, I'm serious. This shit hurt like hell, man. Your eyes, you ain't blinking. Blink so I can stop laughing, right? So, so finally, he stopped. He, he blinked so I stopped laughing. I get him back in the raft. like, yo, that's it. Take me back. I'm not doing this shit no more. I'm like, dude, what you mean you're not doing this no more? You made me do it. We're going to finish. No, I'm serious. We start arguing. Lance was in the back. He was like, yo, y'all better focus because hell hole is coming up. Hell hole was a waterfall that's probably like from that balcony to the floor, right? But it goes straight down. The only way you get out of hell hole, you got to ride the wave. You don't ride the wave. You get stuck in the middle. They got to come and chopper you out because all the water gets to flood your ass, so they got to get you out, right? I'm having so much fun, I start talking shit. I'm so small where I can lean on the front of the rav like a hood ornament. I was like, fuck hell hole. Ah! I didn't want to do Titanic. I wanted to be original. Ah! So Lance like, I'm serious. Focus, y'all. Focus. We go down hell hole. Lance was like, everybody, paddle, paddle, paddle. We all start paddling as hard as we could. It did not look like we were going to make it outside of hell hole. So we all locked eyes at the same time. Everybody jumped out the raft. We all jumped out. <laughs> <laughs> I saved myself. I didn't give a fuck about nobody. My wife, nobody. I got, I got to a rock. I turned around. I saw my wife. 
doing some weird kind of doggy paddle trying to get to me. But when I saw her, I didn't want her to see me see her because then she would want me to get back in the water and go get her. I wasn't going to do it. So I turned around this way and act like I never saw her. She's like, Kevin, help. I'm like, where are you? Where you at? You got to be a part of your own rescue. You got to help me help you. She's like, fuck you. I understand, right? Now, she finally got to the rock. This was the second time that I left somebody for dead and they survived. <laughs> Once again, it was an awkward moment. I didn't know what to say. I was like, hey, look who made herself a swimmer. Huh? <laughs> Up top, give me some, bring it in. <laughs> she didn't want to hear none of that shit, right? So she gets on a rock. Nate gets on a rock. Lance is like a Marine. He got his paddle in his mouth, his cast out the water. He's doing a doggy paddle with one arm. He gets on a rock. I'm like, okay, where's Naeem? It's like my best friend, I'm worried right now. I don't know what to think because my friend isn't here. I'm like, Lance, where my friend at? He's like, yo, don't worry. He's underwater. He'll pop up. <laughs> so wait, what, the, what you mean he'll pop up? Like, he, he gonna pop up dead? He's like, well, if he is, we can bring him back. I'm like, what, wait, what? What do you mean? We can bring him back, man? No, we gotta go get him. On cue, Naeem pops up, right? He's so afraid when he pops up that he, he's not moving his head. He's looking straight ahead. He's got his life vest and his paddle like this, and he's just looking straight ahead and blinking. He's blinking a whole fucking lot. That's how I knew he was scared. This is the rock. Sweetie, like, right where you are, that's where Naeem is. I'm like, yo, turn on your stomach, get to the rock. I know he hear me because he's blinking, but I'm like, I hope he's not trying to give me, like, a Morris code or some shit like that because I don't know Morris codes, right? So I'm like, yo, turn your stomach, get to the rock. This asshole keeps floating past the damn rock. I'm looking at him, he's looking at me, blinking like shit. I'm like, what are you doing? He started waving his paddle in the air. The reason why he's waving his paddle in the air is because he wants somebody to grab his paddle and pull him up. I'm not tall enough to grab his paddle. I'm not even about to attempt to reach out and fall so I can be in the same predicament as him. I didn't want that problem. So Nate was like, throw him the lifeline. I was like, what if we need it? Let him deal with this situation. So he's going down the middle of the raft, right? He's now doing this with his paddle in the middle of the river, going back and forth, because he wants somebody to grab him, pull him in that raft. Now, like I said, we're the only black people there. All the other white families that were there are like semi-pros. They do this all the time. They're like professionals. Some parents were like using their kids as paddles. They were doing tricks. Like, it was serious. I'm, I'm real serious. Now, Naeem is a Muslim. Here's why I tell this story. He's a Muslim. He's been a Muslim his whole life. A serious Muslim. Like, not a half-assed Muslim. Like, he one of the Muslims that read the back of packets. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you're like, hey, man, you want a Starburst? Here, let me see the packet. Give it to me. Let me see it. Mm-mm, mm-mm, read that. Look, that's pork right there. You tell me, I told you, man, that's pork. He one of them Muslims, right? This is why I tell a story. He's in the middle of the river, waving his paddle back and forth. This white guy is going right towards him. The white guy smacked his paddle out the way. Move, man, you messing up the trail. I saw this with my own eyes. Move, you messing up the trail, man. Naeem, without hesitation, he was like, Jesus, please help. He didn't even ask Allah for help. He, didn't... <laughs> he went straight to Christianity. He, didn't... he wasn't like, Allah, I'm about to die. Where you at, man? He's like, Jesus, come help. I told him he was a phony. He should eat a pork sandwich and kill himself immediately. <laughs> hey, y'all have been a great crowd, man. My name is Kevin O'Hara. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Love it. I should see. Shout. Hey, see if I can get my babies. See if my babies are up before I go. I'm going to show y'all my babies before I go. Just act like I left already. I just want y'all to see my kids. I'm going to see if my son come out here shaking his head. I'm going to see. Don't move. Don't move. Y'all stay right here for a second. Look how nosy my son is. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> he don't smile or nothing. He's angry. Just look at him. Smile, man. Just smile one time. Stop. Come on now. Do, do the thing daddy told you to do now. Yeah, um, okay. That's good. That's good. Kevin, say hi. Turn around. Let him see your face. Stop. 
Say hi. Take it to the microphone. Just say hi. Say hi. Anyway, this is just so y'all can see that what I tell is the truth. I really appreciate the love and support. And continue, y'all. It's really going good for me right now. It's really going good for me right now, and I really genuinely appreciate the support. Once again, my name is Kevin Hart. I love y'all. Take it easy.